Hello? Sure, hold on one second. Can I tell him who's calling? Okay, hang, hang on one second, Ann. Hey, Ben? Yeah, Dad? You, you have a call. Stop joking, Dad. It had to happen sooner or later. You can't be serious. Wait, hold, hold on one second, Ann. He's, he's in the tub. Hold on one second. Ben, do you want, should, you want, should I take a message or do you want to dry off and take... Well, I'm in the bath. I, I can't get out here. Take a message, though, and I'll call back. Okay. That's, that's the way you usually do it, right? I'll, I'll tell her you'll call her back. Who is it? It's Ann. Ann who? I, I didn't get that far. Ho hold on one second. <laughs> Ann, what, what's, your, uh, what's your last name? No, he's, he's still in the tub. Hold on one second. It's Ann Howard from high school. Ben. Ann Howard? She's still in high school? That was six years ago. Well, you've been in the tub for an hour and a half. I wouldn't talk. <laughs> I guess anything goes. Wait, hold on one second. Let me... <laughs> And can let, let me let me write. What is this in re in reference to, Dad? Ben, I I I'm don't not... yell at me, Dad. Just because I'm a mile away. Let me just get her number, and and you can call call her back if you feel like it. And what's your what's your number? So this is this is Ann Howard. I guess she knows you from high school, and she's calling about. She's on the committee that's organizing this reunion, your fifth high school reunion, and she oh. wanted to invite you personally. Oh, that's very nice. It's just it's a shame I can't go. Well, you can get time, but it's not tonight. You know, you have time. First of all, don't make a snap decision like well, that. Well, when is it? I th she oh. said, I think it's in a, in a couple of weeks. She said, she said you're going to get an invitation in the mail. She just wanted to personally invite you. But did she ask who you were? Well, I, I assume that I she... I mean, you answered the phone, but did she say, like, well, who's this? No, I, I didn't identify myself as... So you, she didn't know you were my dad? I didn't identify myself. I said that well, Ben good. is here. I said he's in the bath. You said I was in the bath? You kidding? Well, there's nothing wrong with with. Oh, Dad, who takes baths anymore? Oh, that's embarrassing. Why well, did you say that? You, you could have said I was in the shower. I was shaving. Uh, I was working out. I don't know. I wasn't thinking. I panicked. I was building something. You know, I, I, you it know? seemed like an innocent thing to say. You know. <sighs> did she sound like she lived at home? I. Like, did you hear remember, her mom in the background? I'm trying to remember what I heard in the background. I think it was the soundtrack well, to... to Exodus. <laughs> If that helps. You know the major problem, Dad, about you telling Ann I was in the bath? Yeah. I get the feeling she was picturing me naked. And that's going to hurt when I see her. You know? I, did, I didn't s say anything about being naked. Because I wasn't. <laughs> I was wearing my suit. You should rent a, a limo and pick up some of your friends. A lot of, the, a lot of these kids do that, you know, take a limo to this... Uh... Not to the reunion, though. That was for the prom. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You know, you can the rent problem. a limo that, with the vomit in it already for an extra couple hundred <laughs> bucks. Hey, hey, Laura, how you doing? Okay. Um, I forgot my shoes today, and um, my feet are wet. Do you have any dry uh, stockings and shoes? Uh. I was in a I was in a hurry to go, and I I got dressed up, and I wanted to look good, you know, for therapy and the whole thing, and make sure I had a, the the money. Of course, it's always about the money, apparently, with you guys, and I uh, forgot my shoes. Wait a second, you lost me. Well, look, Laura, you're not the therapist, too, okay? I answer enough questions in there. Anyway, Doc. Yeah? I feel a little weird today. I punched my cat, right? Now, you know, I'm not an animal abuser. I love my cat. I, I gave him two vicious left hooks to the neck. Then I kind of skated back, gave him a straight jab to the push. You know, it's like... Meow, meow, meow. You know, you'd be surprised how much give their little kitty necks have. Why did you do that? I, he, he, he had some of my chicken, right? He ate some of my chicken. I, I know I shouldn't. I, I, first, I, I just pu pushed him, you know? Now, you know cats. You can't hurt a cat. You can pick up a cat and throw him. Mm -hmm. And he wouldn't even give you the satisfaction of looking back. Hey, I was going this way anyway, my main man. You know what I mean, Doc? So then I'm, I was on the phone. I see the cat. He gets in my gym bag, right? And he starts peeing and squirting all over the gym bag. Not a big deal. We've all done that. Sometimes you just don't feel like walking upstairs, right? But the protocol is if you're going to do it in somebody else's bag, you look away. You use a little discretion. You don't look right defiantly at them. Hey, here's your bag. Right here. I'll give you your bag. Right. I mean... Mm -hmm. Tom. Mm -hmm. Tom, please. Mm -hmm. Mind if I have another beer? You know... Hey, Doc, I'm drinking I... ice beer now. You know why? Why is that? Better buzz. Better buzz. Come on, have one beer with me. You want a light ice or a light extra dry draft ice? Rapa papa. Come on, have one for a dummy. Why? Why do you want to change the mood in this room from from work to play? 
Uh, that's a good question. I'll give you... Pick a finger. Mm. Okay, pull it. Pull it. Oh, shh. And guess what's up for you, Dr. Rooney? Oh, boy. Mmm, caramba. Remember when I went to my... my uh, well, you went to your 25th. That's right. Reunion recently. Yeah. How did that go? It was it was great. I really had a great time, you know. Yeah, but see, it's easy for you because you you know you you're established. I mean, you have you're a doctor. I know, but that's not. Then people respect people. They don't respect titles. Do you know what I'm saying? No. Let no, me try again. People respect people. Right. People respect me be, because I'm Jonathan Katz, not yeah, because so, I'm Doctor Katz. Well, why? How come you insist on being called Doctor all the time? Respect. It's a sign of respect. <laughs> you know. Dad? But that's not the kind of respect I'm looking for. Not that night, anyway, because it was late and I had a couple too many. You don't want to be a doctor in that situation. No. Yeah. No. Oh, dear. What is it? I got invited to my uh, high school reunion. Really? They invited you? Yeah. Do you think they had a hard time tracking you down? Not really. That was kind of the that's kind of the embarrassing part. Did you go to yours? No. Did you go to high school? Yes. Oh, you did? Yeah. What did you do that uh, equivalency thing? No. I mean, you actually got your diploma and Yep. Same here. Were you in a gang? Good. No. Because of those were big in at my school, you know, really? we had we had gangs. Were you in a gang? Yeah. Yes, and what I was. was it called? We were called the Jews, and uh, we weren't very popular. Because I'll tell you, that on the back of a coat doesn't look good. Oh, man, that's funny. I was kidding, though, about the, the gang being called the Jews. I was, never in the, I was never in a gang. Oh, really? I was in the map club, though. Great. It was kind of a gang, you know, but we just, it was a gang that just loved maps. So tell, tell me why you stopped seeing your last therapist. Well, because I just, you know, I, I wasn't very honest with him. Mm -hmm. You know, and I sort of painted this picture of a person that I thought he would want to be talking to. Right. Therapy's supposed to be where you can just be honest in yourself, right? And just say everything that you can't say in the outside world. That's the idea, yeah. And there I was saying all these lies. Mm -hmm. What kind of lies? I told him that, um, you know, I had blue eyes. Right. I don't. I told him that I was one of the Kennedys. I see. That's not true. You know, I told him that I, you know, I was a vegetarian. So at least with me, this is a, a fresh start. And I hope you feel like you don't have to impress me. Oh, no, no. And it's in your best interest to be brutally honest with me. Yeah, no, no, I know that now, yeah. So you are half Cherokee then? Uh-huh. Cool. <laughs> Hey, why, Mim yeah. Ben? Remember her? Didn't you have a thing, a thing for her? Uh, or am I thinking of me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dad. I'm just kidding, because that's why they have laws. Yeah. Remember Doreen Caminiti? She used to come over on occasion, huh? Yeah. It used to make me uncomfortable you being alone in the in the apartment with her. Yeah, we didn't do anything, you know. It just didn't feel right, you know. Well, she, she, was in, she was in my biology class. Yeah. See, that's fuel to the fire but there's nothing attractive about carrying around a fetal pig all the time wherever you go well don't sell yourself short like that <laughs> you know different women are attracted talking to about me. things oh i was I talking about the mean. actual pig the pig itself yeah that's gross that is you know this guy dad tom fryer was yeah. was the guy who used to eat anything oh right on a dare yeah it was the guy, didn't you didn't you once bet 20 bucks you couldn't eat a ping pong ball that's right right and he couldn't <laughs> <laughs> but you could like throw a candy bar on the ground and in like in the gutter and step on it. Yeah. And he'd eat it. And then he'd get sick. Uh, it's great to have a hook like that. You know what he's doing today? I'm 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 betting it involves eating and gutters and Yes. He's a doctor. So what'll it be, Ben? Have you have any have you made a decision I about know, the I looked at the the yearbook and got yeah. all nostalgic and yeah. I have to say no. But don't you wanna see yeah, but Dad, you know, I, I, you know, these people have their own lives now. They don't need me anymore. They you know? never needed you. That's true. 
They liked you, Ben. They they loved you. Some of them, I'm I'm guessing. You know, um, I was throwing my book bag around an expression of love. I love my girlfriend very much, Doc. Yeah. I, I took her to Disneyland recently because, you know, she's, she's 14 years old. She loves the rides. Everything is so new when you're that age. Those big, wide eyes, seeing things for the first time. Tom, that's not true. She's not 14. You know, Doc? Yeah. I realized something about myself. and uh, mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times I thought, you know, being an Italian guy, that I was like a womanizer, a flanderer. Mm -hmm. But I realized, you know what it is? You know what my problem is, Doc? What's that? You want to know? Yes, I would like to. You want to know what my problem is, Doc? Yeah. You know what I have? What? What do you have? Too much love. That's what my problem is. Too much caring. Too much giving. So wh where does the problem come in? I think I made wrong choices. Well, it's all, it's all about the choices we make in life. You know, you chose... <sighs> you had a wonderful marriage. What was that breath all about? <sighs> and then wonderful marriage. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Big Mr. Therapist? Well, I, I was just... Oh, Mr. Know-it-all? Mr. Take my money and don't make me better? You think that's what's going I on? I can't here? get my life together. You know what depression is, Doc? I wake up for breakfast and then I have a little bit of Captain Crunch. I laugh, I play in the ball, I look for things in the milk, and then I fall asleep. I force myself to sleep. That's depression, Doc. Well, that's your definition. You know what I want to do with my life when I get better? What's that? I want to become a therapist just like you so I can sucker people into this place and make some bread. Look at this couch. You think, you think this is a racket, don't you? I certainly do. I think you got a real racket going here. So why do you come back week after week? Why? why? Okay, here's the story. I was thinking about this. Do you love me? I'm asking you point blank. I love you and I'm not ashamed to say I love I'm not in love with you. I love you like in the sense that, you know, if you died I would cry longer than I cried in ordinary people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Do you love me? Don't, don't put me on the spot. Okay. okay. If you don't say anything, it means you love me. Okay, you do. Uh, now, I never had a father, really a father father. Yeah. Why don't you adopt me? You, if you want to do a little role playing and pretend that I'm your father, if you think that would help. Yeah, I think it would help. Okay, let's try that. As long as you understand that w when the session is over, things are back to where they were, which is not great. Hi, Pop. Hi, son. Pop, may I sit here? That couch is too soft. Sure. Oh, boy. Hey, Dad, when I was in school today, little Jessica made me show her my pee-pee. Oh, boy. You know, I think you're confusing young with really stupid. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. So looking through the... Um the yearbook mm -hmm. yeah and all of a sudden all this anger surfaces that he's been holding in you know that mm -hmm. he, he claims that I wasn't there for him in those years mm. you know right after the divorce oh uh, where was yeah. Roz during all of this he ref he for some reason or other will defend his mother until his uh, un until he gets hungry essentially <laughs> and he goes off and eats something Terrible. No, but he'll defend her till the end you know mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. when in fact she abandoned him. That's that's the that's the story. Yeah. And he's and he's misplacing his anger. He's transferring it. I guess right? Isn't that the term? Transference. Transference. Yeah. This is actually it's not the correct use of, of that right. term. Was misplaced. It is misplaced anger, but it's not transference. Oh, okay. Transference What's, is a very specific. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I've never been able to use it correctly. You know what, Doctor Jonathan yeah. Katz. You okay, Ben? Push it. Ben, are you all right? Come on, baby. Three. Come on, make it. <coughs> oh, Ben, yep. <coughs> Come on in, Dad. Oh, my <sighs> God. What the... What What are you doing here, Ben? I'm lifting weights. Where'd you get that, um, that girdle? That harness? Oh, well, it's not a harness. What is that thing? It's a weight belt. Is that Mom's? No, I'm, uh... Um... You're trying to, uh, make up for the... Last five, six years of neglect in uh, 24 hours? What do you mean neglect? I've taken good care of myself. 
Well, you taking good care of yourself in the sense in, well, in the sense that pampering yourself is taking good care of yourself. I'll tell you, there's nothing better than the feeling that you have after a workout. It's like a high. I mean, I don't know what a high is. It's, it means you're in a lot of pain. Oh, try and lift one of these, Dad. Jeez, you think I could? I, I, you know, I'll spot you. Okay. Go ahead. It's not so heavy. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Ben. Hey, Dad. How are you? You in the car? Yes, I am. Why am I yelling? <laughs> Why am I? Uh, I don't know. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Where's my high school? Because <laughs> I'm out of state now. Ben, the reunion is at the Sheraton. Oh, I ain't going to no reunion. Wow, well, Ben, that's a bad idea. It's a long way to Mexico, Dad. Yeah. But uh, you lent me the car, and I ain't coming back. Yeah, that car is, you know, if you cross a state line in that car, you are violating some law. What is that? Some kind of interstate commerce thing. Yeah, you know, I'm not wanted in this state. You're not wanted in any state. That's the problem. Dad! I'm sorry, Ben. Don't set me up like that. Why would that? you say that right before I have to go you to are... my reunion? Because you are a masochist to say a, a straight line like that to your father. <sighs> you know where I am right now? I'm guessing you're in the front seat. I'm hoping. <laughs> Hey, Dad. Hey, Ben. How was it? You know what? I it was, it was great. Oh, I'm so glad to hear. That. I, mean, I was I, so worried. I, I loved it. I'll, I'll go to another one tomorrow. You I gotta, mean, I wish I had. You wish I graduated you... several high schools. Yeah. Because I'd go to all their reunions. Well, the, who who did you most like to see? I, you know, everybody was yeah. uh, was was great. I mean, and I, everybody remembered you, and yeah, you know, most people remembered me, and yeah. uh, you know, we. What about Doreen Caminiti? She was not there. She uh, she was not there. I didn't see her, but you know, I saw a lot of other old friends, and yeah. you know, we danced. I did uh, three fasties, two slows. That's great. Who'd you slow dance with? Herman Melkin. <laughs> <laughs> did they do what's that dance called that that that's a craze right now? Oh, the Macarena. Yes. Did they do that? They the did Macarena? not do that. No. That's good. I don't like that. It makes me uncomfortable. Right. We did the bunny hop, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> that's a classic. I, I squished two people. <laughs> Well, is there somebody in your life, Lisa, who just like the bane of your existence? Yeah, there's someone I work with who is almost impossible to deal with. Yeah. And I have to see this person every single day. Yeah. You know, I've talked to you about him before. Right. He's just, he's really sensitive. He's this most selfish creature I've ever met. And it's, I don't even know how to deal with him anymore. I get really angry and frustrated because I can't. Oh, can you hold on? That's my cellular. Yep. Okay. Hello? Hi. Oh. Hi, Michael. Can you hold on one second? Okay, this is him. This is okay, him this calling is, right now. This is good. Just hold what? your hold your ground. Tell him that uh you know that that you're you're not at work now, mm -hmm. that that you don't need to talk to him now. Mm -hmm. You'll see him at work tomorrow. Yeah. And that um he shouldn't be calling you at home. Okay. You know? Michael, hi. You know what? Right now this is my own time and I don't you know, we have time at work where we can discuss this stuff. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to take it personally. I'm just. I can't hold on one second. Oh. Tell, tell him that he is constantly playing the victim. That you that that it's passive aggressive. You know, what, you are. Can I just tell you, you are constantly playing the victim. That you, this is really passive aggressive. What do you mean? What does that mean? Hold on. What does that mean? Passive. Um, passive aggressive means it, 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 classically. Is just uh, as a type. Can you of, pick it up a little? Well, it's a, it, 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 yeah, it's it's complicated. Let yeah. me let me. It's passive aggressive is, is a certain type of response. It's a response. In which one party. In which one party. Is um. Is you have to pick it up. In which one party. In which is, one party is is, is acting. Acting. A, 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 is, 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 it, I'm sorry, I'm fumfering. <laughs> tell him we'll call him back. Can I call you back? Yeah, we we gotta work this out because you know he's gonna he's gonna suspect that you're being coached by a guy who stammers. Wow, do you look good today? Can can you come here for just one second? 
Dr. Dr. Please Katz, don't. Cha, cha, cha. come on, just go with me. I think I'm falling Harper, Dr. Please. Cha, cha, cha. Come on, just the therapist you know, now. It, it not... I, you and me in my dream. Cha, cha, cha. Come here, Doc. First of all, this is not a cha cha. You know what's amazing, seriously, about this? When I'm in therapy with you, yeah. and I'm so close to you, I could just punch you right in the face, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's true. Isn't that scary, the thought of that? Or I could just, like, poke one of your eyes or... Um, wh where do these thoughts come from, and, and, and where are we going with this? I just don't think you really care about my problems. I mean, you never give me an extra minute of your time. It's always, well, you know what the thing is. You ever think maybe I'm in a little hurt here, Doc? I was even thinking of becoming gay, but I can't get in that kind of shape. Um, I mean, I had a dream the other night that I was yeah. in an Elizabethan play. Yeah. And I understood nothing but everything. You know what I mean? Then I had this dream. I get, I get kidnapped by pirates, right? Yeah. And I had to put those tights on. And the whole time I'm talking, I'm holding my stomach in. What, what does that mean? Oops, I'm, I'm sorry. You know what the music means. Hey, Doc, thanks so much for this. This is great. Now, look. Just don't expect this. I don't expect anything. Yeah. Can I sit in the front, though? Please? Let me sit in the front, because I like to wave. Look at this. I love to put my head out the window hey, like this. Do that. That's, that's, that's not... That's not that's look not how much safe. wind I can take in my mouth. Hey, Doc. Yes. Want to stop at Scooters for a little brewski? Come on. I don't, I One don't, beer on me. No, I you buy the rest of the night. Come on. No, I, I, I actually... Have an, another arrangement. So hey, there's gonna... a pharmacy. Let's go. Let's try through the takeout window. Come on, you're a doctor. Let's party. I'm feeling a little, little, little pain. What about you, doc? Come on, let's write some scripts, huh? No, it's not. That's... Come on, legal drugs. Not a bad way to go.